Goodful is a larger and taller kind of cold coffee maker that can produce up to 2 liters of coffee. It fits in the door of a standard size refrigerator, but may not fit a small or apartment size refrigerator door. After removing the filter, you can store the decanter on its side. The brew quality is reasonably good, but it's not a concentrate to be diluted. We like the design of the filter, but the lid of the brewer is somewhat clunky. Goodful is a brand that is owned by the media company BuzzFeed Inc. Goodful as a kitchen brand manufactures cookware, bakeware, food storage, reusables, and small kitchen gadgets. They also have a number of appliances that are made under the Cuisinart brand. As of 2022, their only coffee beverage maker is this cold brew coffee maker. Brew quality, the brew produced by the Goodful was reasonable. We like the slightly bitter edge to the otherwise mild roasted flavor. The brew also had a Swedish aftertaste, but with a watery finish. We recommend drinking it straight rather than diluting it too much. Bouquet, the bouquet of the Goodful brew was borderline medium. It had a distinctive woody aroma with mild roasted notes coming through. Considering the brew ratio and filter design, this was not unexpected. Drinkability, based on the brew ratio and the bouquet test, we chose not to dilute the brew. It had a mild roasted flavor with a slight bitterness to it. There was no sourness, so it was smooth to drink. But the aftertaste, although Swedish, was a little watery. You could drink the brew straight, but with a little milk or even sugar, it's not too bad. We would recommend adding just enough water to cover the grounds and to brew for a longer time. The brew yield of 67 FL Oz or two liters is quite good for the quality. Sediment, surprisingly, the Goodful produced a fair amount of sediment. Of course, this is not a bad thing for an immersion brewer since it often indicates that the filter is permeable enough to produce a good brew. Very fine filters, on the other hand, tend not to brew so well. We would recommend letting the brew settle after removing the filter. Then decant, rinse out the container, and return the brewed coffee. Make sure you have a larger container or enough on hand for two liters of liquid. Design, the Goodful is a relatively large capacity brewer. It's therefore quite tall and is best set inside a refrigerator door. However, it's unlikely to fit a small refrigerator. The materials are hardy and durable, but the lid is clunky and more detailed information on the device is lacking. The quality and look of the filter are a big plus overall. Topper, relit. The lid consists of three parts. There's a rim with an attached handle that screws over the top and an inner lid that partly unscrews for pouring or completely removes for brewing and cleaning. Each part has a silicone gasket and the handle has a detachable silicone grip. We really like the comfortable grip and size of the handle. However, although airtight, the rim and the inner lid are rather clunky when screwing. The brew core is of robust construction with a significant amount of plastic cover. The filter itself is made of a stainless steel mesh. We wondered if this type of design was permeable enough to produce a good brew, but the brew test results were favorable. The handle fully extended is 9.1 in, 260 mm. But this function is only deployed during decanting. The Goodful Cold Coffee Maker is pretty solid and durable. We like the quality build of the filter and the detachable silicone grip on the handle. The screwable parts, however, don't have the best feel and are somewhat clunky. There was also very little information about the materials used for the different parts. It's quite easy to brew with a Goodful without measuring, although we measured everything carefully for our testing procedure. We particularly like the filter design with a little handle to lift it out of the container. As per the instructions, you fill the filter or brew core to the top of the mesh windows, which is 16 tablespoons or 3.8 oz of grounds. After carefully inserting the filter, you should pour two cups of water to dampen the grounds. The rest of the water should rise to the top of the brew core mesh windows. Decanting simply requires removing the filter. However, the clunky lid design can make removing and securing the lid a little frustrating. The flip handle for lifting the filter, however, is a handy feature. Based on our sediment test, you may want to decant the contents to remove the sludge settled on the bottom. One thing worth noting is that with the filter removed, you can lay the decanter on its side when storing in the refrigerator. The Goodful is somewhat similar to the Takeya Brewer. With the Takeya, the filter screws into the lid and you can brew in a horizontal position. But you can't brew this way with the Goodful. Cleaning and Storage Cleaning the Goodful is a breeze because it has a removable filter base and it's easy to reach inside the sizable container. The filter is reasonably robust and the handle makes it easy to hang on a hook. You can also put everything in the dishwasher, but we would recommend removing the silicone gaskets first. The container is quite large, so storage may be a factor depending on your kitchen setup. 
Thank you for watching this video, if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, and leave your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this particular model?